Hello. Today we are going to discuss a case of uh, a very interesting spotter which you sometimes would see in a chest X-ray or in a bony X-ray, and you may be confused by so you may mistake this finding for some other uh, disease. Let us see first. I'll try to keep the suspense on. I'll try to first show you the case and let us see if you can identify the case and finding. This is a chest X-ray presented to you as a part of routine health checkup. Do you see any abnormality in this chest X-ray? Let us try and do this. As a resident, you would always want to report the chest X-ray by using your own method by going step by step. Let us go step by step. Let us look at the trachea. Trachea looks central, little bit on the right, but looks normal. Aorta is normal. Then we see the cardiac mediastinal borders, they look normal, cardiac size looks normal, diaphragm normal, symmetrical on both sides, CP angles are free, both sides, chest walls look normal, if we compare the lung fields one by one, they look normal, normal, let's look at the bony cage, bony cage, oh, what is this? Are you able to see some spots, some sclerotic foci around the shoulder joint in the humeral head? in the acromion process, are you able to see? No. Can you give me the diagnosis? Now, this is called as osteopoiculosis. Osteopoiculosis is also called as the spotted bone disease. It is a benign process, but important thing is to differentiate it from other sinister things which may look similar. For example, osteoblastic metastasis, but Osteopoiculosis is always clustered around the joints. The long axis of the sclerotic foci are around the along the long axis of the bone. So this tells us this is a benign thing, nothing to worry about. Another take home message from this x-ray is always look at the bony cage. Findings in a chest x-ray may be in the bony cage, not in the lungs at all. So make it a habit to look at the bony cage. Also remember there are other differential diagnoses of sclerotic lesions which include sclerotic metastasis, mastocytosis and tuberous sclerosis. However, this is a typical case of osteopoiculosis also called as the spotted bone disease. Thank you.